Time right now for our weekly political roundtable with Republican strategist Pat Torpe and the Democratic strategist Jamel Hawley. Gentlemen, we welcome you back to the program. Thank this you, you, this uh, development today at the State House, the governor's man of the Port Authority is suddenly gone after a lot of uh, debate about who knew what, who did what, why all this happened. Does the governor get hurt? By this. I mean, I think he does. Uh, I think that all, all this mattered was, was that if Bill Baroni would have came out clear cut and honest in the beginning, none of this would have uh, happened to this point. Um, I, I will say that the governor uh, did take a little hit, but I, I am supportive of, of, of his new pick uh, in uh, Ms. Ms. Deborah. Uh, uh, she's done an mm -hmm. amazing job cleaning up some other agencies and authorities in the past, and I think that. Uh, this is a step in the right direction to get to the bottom of this matter and, and really see what, what, what really occurred. So you don't think we know the truth yet? I don't think we know the truth yet. Uh, I, I think the truth has uh, been out there. I think Bill Baroni was very honest when he was in front of the uh, Assembly Transportation Committee. That there was a traffic study. That, that there was a traffic study. Which that, his boss didn't know about. That his boss didn't know about, that the way they handled it uh, procedurally was poor. He apologized. Uh, you think he was right for him to leave? Uh, I, listen, when you become a distraction that this was becoming to the governor, I think it was right for him to tender his resignation. The governor made that call and made a very good um, replacement call with Deb Grimuccioni. Do you uh, think, go ahead. Transportation uh, uh, Committee Chairman uh, John Wisniewski has done an amazing job of trying to get to the really the bottom of this. That's where I was going to go. I was going to ask you about that. You think that these hearings are justified? Some say that they're Absolutely, a, that they're they're political just, theater. No, this is justified. I mean, you got to get to the bottom of, 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 of this matter because no one's telling the truth. And so John Wisniewski is getting information. The investigation is going to continue. And at some point, we're going to get to the bottom yeah, of it. I think he's my, doing the, the right thing yeah. and getting, getting us some answers. Mike, what what you're seeing here, I think, is the um, beginning of what you're going to see as the New Jersey uh, the New Jersey Democrats on the front line of the uh, 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 presidential politics that are going on. The irony yeah. of this is that it's the uh, Democrats in Trenton who are playing presidential politics and not Chris Christie. Well, the Democratic, I mean, you had this national TV spot, which is apparently was an sure, early attempt D to take from the, the governor down. From Never has the George Washington Bridge right. apparently been so integral to a <laughs> yes, political yes. campaign as it suddenly has become now. When all is said and done. The governor gets hurt by this or not? Uh, not at all, because there's no way any of this blows back onto him directly. What about the Zero. Dream Act? Uh, I think it's a step in the right direction. I hope the governor sticks by his words and supports it. I mean, you know, you can't have this two-tier type of citizenship uh, of individuals who live here and want to, you know, go to school and get equality and uh, take that away from them. And I think this bill does that. Well, the interesting thing with the DREAM Act, again, it shows, I think, that the uh, Democrats are being soldiers in the uh, uh, national politics here. There, there were two bills on the DREAM Act. The first, a Senate bill that was put in in January, which had uh, in-state tuition plus financial aid. The uh, Assembly Democrats put a bill in June with 18 sponsors that only had uh, the uh, in-state tuition and not the financial aid. Clearly a sign that they thought the financial aid was a step too far. The governor supports the assembly bill, and, and that's the bill that the governors decided to change yesterday, that the Democrats decided to change yesterday to put in a form that the governor wouldn't sign. Pure politics, people are sick of it, and it was really, you know, the worst kind of, it was Trenton Democrats acting like Washington, D.C. Uh, politicians. Well, even, even Washington, D.C. Republican politicians? Even, even Washington, D.C. Republican politicians. <laughs> On that politics. subject, let me ask you both about this. We apparently had this budget deal. You had the Speaker of the House very critical of some of the uh, Tea Party elements of his own party as well. Uh, New Jersey Republicans, by and large, have been supportive of working with the Speaker, of working with Mr. Ryan. Are you happy with where your party is going on this issue at this time? Uh, gridlock is not the solution here. The fact that uh, Paul Ryan and... Uh, uh, the Senate Democrat chair got together and agreed on a number to spend was a, ma a major step in the right direction, considering how dysfunctional Washington is. And as small a step as this may be policy-wise, hopefully it can be the building blocks for really getting you know, government down in Washington to work finally. Does I it, hope so. Does it, uh, it doesn't bother you that the Republicans apparently are, are, are stopped feeding on themselves for a while and are working together? It, it makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. Uh, but before we go, quickly, Newark, the mayor's race there, gotten very interesting lately. What do you think is going on? Um, you know, I think it's going to be a day by day. I think this is going to uh, be an election that we're going to have to pay attention to day by day. It's going to change very often. And so I think that, uh, you know, it's going to be very interesting over the next few months. Pat? Interested bystander, uh, not really familiar with the details. All right. By the time it's over, you will be, my friend. Sure. Gentlemen, sure. thanks a lot. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Great. Take Thank care. You.